My name is Randy White, and I'll be demonstrating the pressure dressing. Okay, the first thing is, of course, is BSI to make sure that you have your gloves on. The next thing is you'll need some 4 before and as soon as you get there, you want to make sure that you cover that and put direct pressure, pinpoint pressure, over that bleeding. Okay, once you've done that, you may need to move on to a different skill, like, for instance, airway or treating for shock or something like that. So I'm going to put a pressure dressing on it, okay? Now remember, once you put this on here, you shouldn't be looking at it anymore. I'm going to put an anchor wrap on, and an anchor wrap really is just to keep my bandage from slipping all over the place. And now I'm going to, again, keeping direct pressure over the top, I'm going to be moving the wrap, distal to proximal, proximal to distal, okay? And as I'm going to make this look a little pretty, okay? Now when I want to do direct pressure over the site, okay, I'm going to bring the bandage around and now I'm going to move the bandage over and put direct pressure over the site with that. I'm going to come around, being careful now not to drop my roller gauze because if I do, then I've lost the ball game. And it's a lot easier to drop when you're rolling backwards. Now I'm rolling forwards again. I'm going to do this one more time. Here, and one more time here. Okay, now I'm just going to finish it up making sure that I put plenty of my roller gauze over the top, again tightening up as I go, making sure that the bottom side is loose so that I get good pulses. Now I'll tape and tie and tuck. I want to make sure that I have a good pulse here. I want to make sure I got good capillary refill here.